Should the 49ers sign or trade for a guard? And the reason I ask is because Richburg, Weston Richburg, the starting center, is hurt. <clears throat> ben Garland, the backup uh, center, is hurt. Daniel Brunskill is now the starting center, and the starting right guard is Tom Compton. Do the Niners need to make a move at right at guard in particular? Okay. Who's starting? Uh, I will. Oh, Leo. My bad. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. So mm-hmm. this is what I'll say on that is we saw how Mike Person played last year. Is Tom Compton really that – worse than than Mike person I don't, I don't think so so I think if it's not Brent skill and they have to start Compton at right guard I think they're fine and then just wait for one of the centers to come back and then switch over Brent skill I would I'm more concerned about the center than the guard position I, I look at a center who was out there already could be on the trade block is Alex Mack Shanahan loves him hold your horses we're gonna get to center next jeez <sighs> All right. Leo, read the notes before we go on air. Mute me. Mute me. <laughs> <laughs> talking points. Talking I'm just, points. I just want you to save those great points for the center section. I don't want you to, to you know, okay. hold your – so we're, we're going to come back to that. Yeah, Jose, what, what, what about, the what about guard? That's all right. About guard. Uh, I, I definitely could see them making a move because I feel like the interior offensive line is almost identical to last year, and that was you their – I, yeah, I told you 100%. Hey, that interior offensive line won nothing. They won nothing on that Tuesday at camp. It didn't matter who was there. Solomon Thomas was winning one-on-one. Solomon freaking Thomas, yo. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. So, I mean, this was – and I know like Tomlinson looked – look, he didn't look good, but he didn't look bad. All right, but I kind of mm-hmm. expect that from him. And then mm-hmm. once we saw team on, me and you, run skills snaps were erratic. Like, come on, that's, that's terrible. So, and then that takes away – you're starting your projected starting right guard for him to get used to it. Too much shuffling. You need they need solidification like now. And this is a move when you're a winning team to do it. I I've ta- I typically wouldn't lean towards, yeah, you need it, but you know, it's clear that interior guard was a hard thing for Shanahan to get over. I look I think offensive tackle, if they lost those, those were like the ones that he can get over because well, first they got school mm. back there, and then they proved it last year that can get over it. For whatever reason, that interior offensive line, it's tough for them to get over because it's so <clears throat> It's such a it's such a main factor into what they want to do on offense. That's why you saw George Kittle having to come in the backfield and be that extra pass protection along with the running back. So mm-hmm. I, it, I just really need to look at who they can actually get. I wish Kalechi Assembly was still out there. I don't know if he would have been a necessary fit because the Chiefs got him about a month ago. But that would have been someone like, hey, at this point, why not? But whoever's out there, sign him a trade. It, it was definitely worth consideration. Mm. I mean, I think if they do address the guard situation, it would definitely be similar to how they – got Emmanuel Sanders last year. I don't think they uh, bring in someone else starting caliber player uh, unless there's another injury. But if they did, uh, I guess Josh Klein, I was looking on Sparak, and that's really the only name that kind of impressed me on that. And uh, I think Brunskill, the more he gets used to center, will be better. But I honestly would feel more comfortable with a guy that's played center before starting the year at center. I yes. think it's yeah. a, kind of an unfair situation for Brunskill to be in because he was already totally. trying to learn right guard. But yes, we'll see what happens. <laughs> He's never started a game at center. It's, I yeah. mean, you're a Super Bowl contending team, and you're like, well, we'll just wing it. We'll see what he's got. Yeah. No, don't do that. Yeah. What's up, Marco? So absolutely not. Don't go trading for a guard because of, because of Daniel, Daniel Brunskill. So obviously he's going to be the starting right guard. I mean, he had a great season at tackle. But I think he's better suited to play guard in Kyle Shanahan's offense. He's an athletic uh, player. So I wouldn't go out um, chasing for a guard right now. I would rather just hold off and allow um, – I seen Kilgore was out there that they were looking into signing him. He's capable of playing both spots. He was ranked 12th last year out of all centers or whatever. But That's fair. I like Daniel Kilgore too, former 49er. Look, what I would do – I would I, I would sign Larry Warford. I think he's a terrific guard. He used to be with the Saints. He's still a free agent. And you know who drafted him? Martin Mayhew. Drafted him in Detroit. He's a really good player. I mean, maybe he's a little bit older, not quite as good as he was when he went to the Pro Bowl three, four years ago. But he's probably bet. Look, I like Daniel Brunskill a lot. And he showed some grit against Aaron Donald last year. He started two games in his career at right guard. Two and zero at center. And this guy, Tom Compton, looks like a total stiff to me. I mean, it's it's just practice, but Sorry, I, bad. I looks he looks terrible. Um, and to me, Warford opt out. No. Did he opt out? Yeah, no, I don't think. So. I don't think so. He's a free agent. Yeah, no, I thought he was uh, a free agent. Maybe. 
Someone tell me, because if we did, then uh, uh, yeah. this paper, okay. no one will ever see it. <laughs> Former Saints guard Larry Warford opting out of 2020 season. Well, forget that then. What are they going to do? Fired. No, thank you, man. I'm definitely, this is never going to see the light of day. I, I, Of course they shouldn't try to get Larry Warford. He opted out. I knew that. So, yeah, what are they going to do? I mean, I don't see how who they're going to get. They could have got Larry Warford at one point. but Got a guy, well, Kalechi. Yeah. Got Kalechi. I'm just going to relay what Marco said. Uh, what are you going to do? You go trade. You're giving up draft capital with a team that has yeah. a bunch of free agents coming up yeah. next year. And then what are you going to do with Brunskill now? Is he just going to be on the bench when he could have been a cheap deal as a starting right guard and he played it effectively? It's just too bad because, like, the Niners had arguably the best roster in the league last year, but there were certain weaknesses it had, namely right guard. And that weakness was on display in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. One of the main reasons they did not win that game because Mike Person just couldn't do anything against Chris Jones. And you were thinking, well, a team this stacked can fill yeah. one hole, can improve <laughs> one weakness. And it's like, well, they haven't done it yet. I mean, maybe Brunskill will, but so far in camp, he's not even getting to play right guard. He has to fill in at center just so they can have practice. So, okay, Larry Warford isn't the name, but they should maybe try to get a little creative there because I'm not really – I mean, I know he likes – Kyle likes Tom Compton because – he played on on the Washington team, and Shanahan seems to love anyone who's ever been on Washington. But dude, come on, man! Someone who's like a little younger with I don't know, maybe it's too late. Kilgore, boop, boop. I'm on the train. <laughs>